Hello everyone, I hope you're very good today. So I'm Veronique and I'm back with a new video on Scott YouTube channel. So today I come back with the, uh, I'm gonna go straight away with the uh, uh, discussion of the dissertation. So basically I'm going to start with doing your dissertations, um, doing your master dissertations, how to do with that. So yesterday I was speaking the different subjects. So I'm just going to start with the first chapter and give you some brief information regarding how can you basically start your dissertations. So the dissertation take time. It take you time to really manage exactly what you really wanted to do. So um, I'm going to give you the brief of um, information regarding the first chapter. Okay, so take time <laughs> chapter 20 page 21 21 page 21 21 so the page 21 was the speaking about it so in the page 21 the chapter starts with how long does it take to do a master dissertations so the master dissertations the key questions that you need to um, doing vocabulary around and mastering the students. So it's require you a time. How can you decide to do that? So it, it's require you to make an, we calling that as a gancha, the gancha when you plan and to set up your dissertations where you can basically define that in three type of uh, a step, which is deciding on what to research, then how to research it, doing the research, collecting the data. So the first step, the first step is deciding on what to research, then how to research it. It requires you to find out through your scale, stay timetable, the topic ideas, topic analysis, analysis to researches and design. You can define that through the Gantt chart. Or your calendar for example then it's starting there's these two steps that i say topic of ideas and topic of analysis and analysis for research design it starts with the analysis and the researchings then this is actually the secondary literature research and literature review then the second step is doing the research collecting the data so According to the data, you can define the stakeholders on your time, stay, time scales, how long you can collect the data so you can be on times so that the data that you collected then also analyzing the interpretations of your findings, which is the data analysis. Then the third time, the third step is writing about what you found and what it means, which is you need to define on the time scales, timetables, the analysis and the interpretations and findings, reflections of your works. So then when you define on the time scale with the three steps that have been said, which is deciding on what you, the first one is deciding on what to research, then how to research it. Then this is the secondary literature research and literature review. Then the topic ID, topic analysis, analysis for research and design. The second step is doing the research, collecting the data, data collections and data analysis. Data collections, analysis, interpretations of finding, which is that data analysis it means data collections, analysis, interpretations of findings. The third step is writing about what you found and what it means which is means analysis and interpretations of findings and reflections of what works. You can define under the time skills. Then you find out to writing, how to write. So the writing start with the deciding on what to research, then how to research it. So the analysis and the research, which is linked to the second delivery literature review, is linked to the, to the writing. So you must formulate of research questions, which is amplified hypothesis and the questions that you found out the first full draft of the research proposals and complaining with the cons consolidations and supervisor you need to find out how to make in the information regarding your supervisors and then the second step it's actually doing the research collections the data the writing step 
when you are being interpreted you are being explaining your data analysis now you need writing the full review of the literature review and research methodology and data collection stores rationalities so then you find out that through the data analysis data collections analysis interpretations of collections of data you feedback literature review and then also the method research writing and then the third step is writing about what you found and what it means writing up data chapter interpretations chapter and consolidations recommendations printing checking finalizing and dissertations this is how you can make it for it i have an example of i've done in my dissertation so i have here my dissertations of secam for the bachelor of transport and logistics this is like a um, traditional traditional dissertations because i collect data from the organizations and also coca-cola is also the same things where i collect the data traditional information require you time to do it when you make it a placement report for the bachelor for example you need to write in like a, a report when you come back from the interpretations and of you see you provide a feasibility of of data this is from sika so Thank you very much for Ellie listening. I'm going to put the details for the book that you can find out. This mini book and available for it. And then for any questions, I'm going to be here for answer the questions. Thank you very much. And see you later for the next chapter. Thank you. Bye.